Oh boy. Guess we're in summer now, given the fan. Ooh, a pride decoration? Hello? Let's go. Even listeners, today is the last day of June, and that means we've got one more day to celebrate pride. Hell yeah. Let's go. This month. Contribute to our Haven Pride mural and get 20% off the Silver Dragon Dispensary. I'm told this discount is participation-based and will not depend on artistic ability. But, just in case, here's how you draw a rainbow. Start drawing a circle, then stop. More great music from queer artists coming down the pike. Hold up. I'm getting a vision of the future. It's me, answering your calls in just a few minutes. Glad to see Steph's getting way more into the gig now. It's too damn hot to be. What's it called? Talking. That's a mood. Fucking, if it's hot where I'm at, holy shit, I just cannot do fucking anything. I hate summer. I hate it. Bugs, heat, humidity, it's the fucking worst. No thank you. Right, so, uh, we got a phone call, I guess? Hopefully we, uh, hopefully we don't have to solve anyone's interpersonal relationship drama again. Alright. The heat's no excuse. Better take this call. Let's do it. Hey, you're live. What can I do you for? Hey, uh, well... I think I might have screwed up pretty big with my son. Oh, no. Okay. What happened? Uh, you're gonna think I'm a real jerk. But my boy Grady sat me down yesterday, and he... I guess the term you'd use is... He came out to me. Ooh, and boy. I handled it a lot better than I did. Uh, what does that mean? What does that mean? You could have handled it better? I didn't yell at him or anything. I just... shut down. I didn't know what to say. Oof. That must have been rough for poor Grady. Anyway, he loves your show. Listens to it religiously, and I thought maybe I could put in a song request on his behalf. Oh, okay. So he knows I... hear him. And I love him. Hey, everybody screws up sometimes, man. I'm proud of you for trying to make it better. You should still have a direct conversation with him about this, though. Just I'm just saying. Try to be on board from now on. True. Having a queer kid is an absolute blessing. I wish more dads acted like it. Yeah, for sure. What's the track? It's Feelings by Haley Kyoko. Grady played it for me. Right before he tried to talk to me, said it was meaningful to him. All right. Let me see if I can dig it up. Thank you. I appreciate it. Pretty sure we've got that record somewhere in the back room. Well, because I know what I'm looking for now. Nothing oh, hang on. A soundboard? Radio content, like an obnoxious sound effects board. I bet I could use this on air. That'll probably be something I do later. Um, but honestly, like, yeah, I really do wish more parents would be more accepting. And well, it's not like the dad wasn't accepting; he just didn't know how to respond, I guess. But you know, like, like for me being bi, like the only person IRL that I've actually told so far is my dad and uh well you know he kind of took that with him to his grave so that's unfortunate but yo know, he he was like really really accepting and and loving about that which i really needed so like really if someone in your life comes out to you just you know try to be there for them I hope I all right find that record he requested. i'm working on it steph i'm trying to be sentimental local micro celebrity declared cool as hell very attractive. New DJ Psychic Revives Mountain Radio. K 
KRCT, an independent radio station operated out of the Rocky Mountain Record Traders in Sleepy Haven Springs, has received an unexpected boost in listenership thanks to the addition of self-styled radio psychic Steph Gingrich. Founded in 1994, the station struggled to bring in new listeners for years, but Gingrich, who says she stumbled into radio prognostication on a total whim, has changed that. People like it when you let them play in the fantasy a little, says, uh, says Gingrich. KRCT listener retention rates are up by 20% since the new DJ's tenure. Let's go. Steph, moving the needle, bringing in the numbers. Anything new on the cell phone? Oh, we got new matches. Hang on. Let me let me look through the text first. What's up, Ryan? Hello, this is Ryan. Lucan. Lol, hello. This is Steph. Gingrich. Haha, <laughs> well, now we have each other's numbers. Glad, I'm glad you're part of the gang. Nice to feel like I'm not third wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Or, or, we're both third wheeling it with Gabe and Char. Damn, if only there were a word for another third wheel. <laughs> Speaking of Charlotte, is Kiddo with his dad? Yep, just saw them off. How are you feeling? Oh, I'm okay. It gets a little lonely when Ethan's with Liam, but it's only a month. I'll survive. Hell yes, you will. You're a total champion. But in the meantime, if you need a drinking buddy to pass the time, I can provide that service. Ugh, you're a hero. Thursday? Sick. What's your poison? Wine. Red. Cheap, but not too cheap. A girl after my own heart. Aw. Lol. Jed just called it the Google. That's not what it said on the Google. Babe, are you gonna text us every time Jed has a boomer moment? In fairness, he deserves it. Uh, there's probably a lot more that he deserves. Although I guess you guys don't know about that yet. Lol, let me just hop on the old Google there. Best mustache, uh, me, best mustache wax send. I can't even talk. No, no, Dad's a loyal captain's mistress luxury pomade man. Is that real? There's no way. It's real. Google it. Sorry, the Google it. Lol, what the hell? This is magical. Okay, so wait, am I losing it? I mean, you're dating me, so wow. <laughs> Shut up, babe. This guy just popped it in my commissions inbox. Uh-oh. Wait, why uh-oh? Trust me, this story is gonna warrant an uh-oh. He's like, I want a portrait done of me and my wife. And I'm like, of course. Can you provide me with a picture of you two? Is this gonna be a nude? Charlotte says, oh, Charlotte, and he says, excuse me, oh no, I'm not married yet. So I'm like, that's fine. Send me a pic of you and your fiance. And he's like, I don't have a fiance. And now I'm starting to get like vibes. Like, super weird vibes. Uh, told you. So, okay, then, dude's like, But I know what my future wife will look like, and I saw her in a dream. No. Holy shit. Okay, but it gets weirder. How does it get weirder from there? Then, it's like, I think $50 is a fair price, and I tell him, No, I'm sorry, but for a full-color portrait, my fee is 200 Oh, God, I see where this is going. I think I do, too. And this dude says, Oh no, I meant I think $50 is a fair price for you to pay me for letting me know or letting you know about my visions of the future. That's not where I thought that was going, but that's also weird. Fuck. Gee, Char, that's wow. Called it. I fucking called it. I feel like I'm going insane. So, are you gonna pay him the 50 bucks you owe him? Or pff, shut up, Gabe. I'm sorry, is it fucking snowing? Yes. It was 90 degrees yesterday. Colorado, baby. I hate it. <laughs> uh, that sounds a little bit like North Dakota, too. It snowed on 4th of July once. True story. I hate it. Give it 24 hours. So wait, explain this ending to me? Machine Cult? Yeah, dude, this movie makes no sense. Well, I mean, true, but that's what's dope about it. No, but the dude, like, he feeds the baby to the machine? Why? You spent the whole movie trying to protect the damn baby. I don't know, dude. It's like a metaphor. For what? It's not like one-to-one. -one. It's tonal? It's about letting go of the things that you use to define yourself. That sucks, though. Lol. Don't you like any normal movies? Not really. Lol. Alright, let's take a look at the matches here. Violet from Telluride, Colorado. Gay punks, all other punks. Loving your style, love the hair, fucking sick. Cool as hell pose on the main picture, that's an easy swipe right. 
Cat from Boulder. User hasn't entered a tagline. Probably a bot. Pickle, 31 from Denver. Butch comedian with bad hair and worse jokes. Eh, you know what? We'll give it a shot. 29 from Westminster. Man, I don't know. Eh. Seems a little barren for a profile. I, I like... I like know nothing about you based on that. Eh. Eh, swipe left. Yo, you have a sword? Let's go. I don't even need to think about that. Oh, and we're a match? Let's go. Now, let's keep swiping for a second. Callie. Uh, Burlaben. Just here to get to know people and make new friends. Alright, sure. Yo, you have a snake? Not long for this continent. Okay, you were probably visiting somewhere. I have to know the story about the snake. Aw, we didn't match. That sucks. Colby from Boulder. I've been told I smell like a new book. I'm interested in the story behind that quote. Ooh, maybe we'll get to find it out. And finally, KC. Fort Collins. Bike trash for bike trash. Hit me up if you ride. I don't think Steph rides, so I think that might be a uh, swipe left. <laughs> Even if I had the money, I know a sucker's bet when I see one. You have reached your swipe allotment for the day. Want more chances to meet your special someone? Sign up for a premium membership at $16.99 a month for unlimited swipes. Oh boy. Yeah, maybe just, uh, maybe let's just check out the ones we have. What's up, Fiona? Ooh. Ooh. Do I... Do I make the first move? I feel like Steph would make the first move. What kind of opener do I want to use? Something about the sword, something about the sword, something about the sword. Digging the sword. Not gonna lie, the bot for sword cinched it for me. Well, you're a rare and precious breed then. You're not the first person to tell me that. Shot in the dark, but... Do you play TTRPGs? Yes. Mostly fantasy. I used to be really into kingdoms and caverns. Good old-fashioned elf and wizard stuff, you know? It's a classic for a reason. Bingo. But used to? It's been a minute since I played. Aw, bummer. Think you'd ever get back into it? I'm actually literally about to get back into it now because of my friend Mikey. So, uh, eh, we'll say maybe. If the opportunity arises, well, hey, if you ever need a playmate, I'm your girl. Oh, that, uh, yeah, that, um... <laughs> oh, that could have been worded better. <laughs> um... Do I do a playful jest? I think I rib her. I think I rib her a little. Yes, I mean, not that I don't think you're pretty, I do, I just mean... I wasn't trying to like... Holy shit, you're flustered as fuck. I'm sorry, I was just messing with you. Huh? Oh yeah, of course, it's cool. So, Haven Springs? Kinda out in the boonies, huh? Population's only like, 1100? How do you know more about Haven Springs than I do? Well, it's called the internet. Sorry, it's a habit of mine, I go down rabbit holes. True. How many open browser tabs? God, do not ask me that question. Please do not ask me that question. Oh, you will not like the answer. So, without checking, do you know if you have more than 10 open browser tabs? Oh god, called out. It's probably more like 50. Do you hate that? I know it's weird. Nope, weird is good. If anything, not weird is a deal breaker for me. Oh, okay. Lucky me, that's not even the full extent of my weird. Okay, so back to Haven Springs. Have you thought about maybe moving to Denver? No offense. Dude, I was gonna, but... I lost a bet. Specifically a game of foosball. Lol, what? No joke, I lost a bet with my buddy Gabe, so I stayed. I literally don't know how to respond to that. We should at least come visit, you think? Absolutely, Denver isn't perfect, but I think you'll have a good time. I'd be excited to meet you. Yo! 
or, or, to be fair, Steph was going to go down to Denver at some point in the main story. <clears throat> Excuse me. Maybe I need to drink some water. Which you should also all be doing, by the way. But yeah, at some point in the main story, Steph was going to organize a LARP endeavor. So, she was going to go there anyway. But maybe Fiona could swing by Haven? Or, hear me out, you can come visit Haven. It's not as bad as you think. We got a record store and a dope little bar and an indie movie theater. And the people are rad. That sounds... Kind of fun, actually? Oh shit, except I'm sort of in this play right now. We open this weekend and run for the next three weeks. So I'm gonna be kind of busy for a while. Hey, that's sick. Break a leg. Ah, the classic theater kid tradition. You can't say good luck because that's bad luck. And you'll actually uh, and you'll actually break a leg. <clears throat> Sorry, I don't know why my throat's all fucked today. Oof. I guess I'm coming to Denver after all. Okay, well, if the only way I get to hang out with you is to come to Denver, I guess I'm going to Denver. Really? You don't mind? Now nah, it'll be good times. Wow, I'm so excited. Aw, that rules. I mean, obviously I know that that doesn't really work out in the end. Just because of how things went in my playthrough, but... You know, it's nice to know that Steph would at least have a good time hanging out with Fiona, hopefully. Do I want to kick things off? Or leave it to them? I think I think we'll leave it to them this time. See what they do. Nice to meet you, Steph. Want to get to know each other with a round of Mary Boink Kill? Yes. Hell yeah, let's do it. What are my options? Dracula, Frankenstein, or the Wolfman? Or Wolf Person, if you prefer. Let's just presume all three are whatever gender you want them to be. Fair. Hmm. Well, I do kind of like vampires. So, I, I feel like Dracula would be either the Mary or the Boink. Yeah, I think I'd, I think I'd Boink Dracula. <laughs> I think I'd Boink Dracula... Uh, marry Frankenstein and then kill the wolf person. Gotta marry Frankenstein. Big bimbo energy, totally lovable. No boink Dracula. Boink Dracula, but it's a love them and leave them situation. I'm only in it for the immortality. Which I guess means I'm killing wolf person. Oh, I kind of feel bad now. It had to be done. For the record, I'd marry Frankenstein, boink wolf person, and kill Dracula. I have no idea what this says about either of us. Me neither, but it was fun to play. So... Let's ask about music. So what kind of music do you like, Colby? A little bit of everything? I've been on a bluegrass kick. Damn, seriously? Hell yeah, I actually ordered a build-your-own-banjo kit? Hello? But I haven't put it together yet, lol. Crap, phone's about to die. Uh, ask them out. Shoot your shot. Well, hey, before it does, you want to meet up sometime? Um, maybe. I am swamped. For the next month, at least. Can I hit you up with things to chill out? Yeah, sure. No rush. I got more ads to read, I guess. Uh, let's do that. Let's see who we got this time. Uh, Black Lantern again, uh, Rocky Mountain Gazette, um, more from Avalanche Ice Cream, okay. Advertise usual, plus 4th of July pool tournaments, and they're now selling popsicles, and they're doing a pub crawl. Nice. Are there even any other bars in Haven Springs? That's a, that's a fair question. Kind of hard to do a pub crawl when there's only one pub, isn't it? Um, let's see, Rocky Mountain Gazette. Hello, the RMG is a local paper covering topics which actually impact life in Haven. We are dedicated to serving the Haven community and, the, and no story is too small. Thank you. Alright, cool. What about Avalanche Ice Cream? This week I was thinking, what if we did an ad as if it were a radio drama? 
No, I don't have a full story for it, so you can just make something up, but I want it to be about aliens invading Haven and Ice Cream somehow saves the day. Thanks, Sunny. Steph, please just be yourself and mention the flavor selection in our ongoing Bogus Sundays, or Bogo Sundays. Angela. Alright. Let's see. Uh, we'll do the Black Lantern first. ARCT is brought to Seems pretty straightforward. Sponsors at the Black Lantern. It's been a brutally hot summer, so visit the Lantern and escape the heat with... Ooh, popsicles. New there popsicles. we go. The kiddos can stain their tongues purple while you enjoy a round of darts and a cold one. And if that's not enough to get you in the door... Come in and play some pool? The upcoming 4th of July pool tournament will. All are welcome to come, play, and lose money to Ducky. Hell yeah! The Black Lantern today, and tell him Steph sent you. Dang, I'm blowing up today. Should probably answer that call. Let's do it. I wonder if this isn't gonna be Grady. You're on with Steph. Yo, yo, what up? New girlfriend? Hello? I don't know what that was. What can I predict for you? I am in serious need of some divine foresight. And having my first girlfriend over for dinner with my parents next week. Oh boy. Ooh, soundboard. Here we go. Thank you, thank you. Gotta be honest though. Super nervous. Valid. I can see why a prediction is in order. Yeah, so if you could just tell me that dinner goes perfectly, that'd be great. Mm, I don't know I if it'll go perfectly. Mother fate. Be right back. And by Mother Fate, I mean my D20. Press the bottle for luck. Oh, there's a rocking flower too? Hello? I know we got the double luck. The odds are in our favor. Let's give it a roll. Ooh. Oh no. I won't, I want to say it goes up in smoke, like, mm, you know, I feel like there's still a chance it could go well, maybe, or there could be a way to salvage the night, so I'll say disappointing. I'm an image of this family dinner. Okay. Sorry to say, I don't see it going great. Not going great how? Mm. Oh god, I hope they don't talk about politics. Surprise, surprise. Politics comes up. You manage to nip the conversation before it gets too far, but the mood is ruined. Uh, they all said they'd be cool. What matters is the girl you're seeing is really cool about it. True. You still really like her, and she still really likes you. I'm just... I'm tired of who I am making everything harder, you know? Yeah, I know. And I'm sorry for that. But being with her is worth all the trouble, right? God, so worth it. Okay. Hell yeah. I can do this. Thanks, Steph. Good luck. Thanks for calling. Maybe now I do hope it works out for her. I'll call it the dateless dating advisor. Ugh. Oh, they only gave me one this time. Ha! Huh? Let's see. What else do I got? Uh, ooh, let's banter a You're little bit. You're listening to KRCT, Haven's best and only choice for modern rock. Uh, anything else? Time for a traffic update. Oh, here we you go. You live in Haven. There is no traffic. <laughs> this has been your True. traffic update. Desperate to know what comes next in life? Give me a call here at KRCT, and I will tell you your future. Certainly not included may cause side effects such as boosted confidence, which can be fatal in rare cases. Oh boy. Remember, today is the last day of Pride Month. I want to give a massive thanks to everyone who supported me and the whole community. You guys rock. Hell yeah. Here's a fun one. 
Today is National Avocado Toast Day. Or maybe it isn't. It's not like any of you are gonna Google it. I'm not gonna lie, I've Googled obscure national holidays before just to see if they were real. Let's check the weather <laughs> forecast, Haven. The whole week is slated to be hot as literal hell. But we can look forward to spotting a single wispy cloud in the sky for about 15 minutes on Thursday. Yo, 15 whole minutes? Let's go! The 4th of July is rapidly approaching. Don't be caught off guard, Haven listeners. Join your neighbors in the park for some grilling, sparklers, and inevitably getting hit in the face with a frisbee. <laughs> wow. Did you know that Pride is often called CSD in Europe? It's short for Christopher Street Day, the street that the Stonewall Inn was located on. Huh. Just a little fun Pride fact for all of you. And now, an actual traffic update. The Eisenhower Tunnel will be closed for maintenance this upcoming Monday, so if you really gotta get to the front range, now's the time to give up. <laughs> wow. And now, a public service announcement from your friends at KRCT. Any sound at or above 120 decibels can immediately damage your hearing. So crank it up to 119 and keep it here. Wow. <laughs> really pushing the boundaries there, huh? I am fresh out of banter. But that should be plenty for today. Uh, let's see what's on the computer. Black Lantern jukebox, but barely. Bit of a learning curve, but we got this. Hey, at least the daily listeners are up. 20% according to that one article. Want to improve your ratings? Here's a tip! Playing the same song too many times can turn listeners away. Yeah, like if you overplay Paralyzer by Finger Eleven! I'm sorry, I know I keep harping on that, but that was really annoying. Talking to myself about pride. Cut off from the outside world is an understatement. But this was a sweet message. Subject, your pride programming. Hi Steph, longtime listener here. I wanted to commend you for talking about pride and LGBT his uh, history on the air. It's a topic that I'm regrettably less familiar with than I'd like to be. This town can feel a bit cut off from the outside world at times, so hearing new voices like yours is a breath of fresh air. Best wishes, Edna B. Hell yeah! Up. Oh. Me learn from my lesson last time, read the bomb one first because it goes from oldest to newest down to up. Hey Cassia, just wanted to drop you a line and ask about that back room. It's crazy packed, and I was thinking about clearing it out. Anything I should be aware of? Da 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 Steph, first of all, little birdie told me about your psychic shtick. What a bit. Wish I thought of that one when I was manning the booth. You ought to think about charging by the minute like the pros. As for the storage room, you have my blessing and my condolences. God knows what's back there. It used to be something of a mausoleum where I'd buried product that was too embarrassed to shelve. That was back when I was still capable of embarrassment, of course. Waking up with your teeth in a glass on your nightstand has a way of changing a lady. Wow. Let me know how it goes. I'm guessing that's gonna be something we have to do today. Probably should just look at the task list. Not that much, but I have the memory of a goldfish. Before I finish my shift, answer two at least calls. Read three ads on the air. Right. Got two more to do. Rocky Let's Mountain Gazette. A quick ad break, kind Haven listeners. Are you tired of only getting news about big towns far away? Then you must not be reading the Rocky Mountain Gazette. The RMG's reporters are so local. You're eating with you one. Yes, you are eating lunch with one right now, and you didn't even know it. And as locals, these reporters care about what you care, care about. about the things you care about. They walk your streets, shop your shops, curse at the same pothole you curse at. If you <laughs> want world class, fair journalism, look no farther than your own backyard, the Rocky Mountain Gazette. Solid plug. Now, is there anything specific? Yeah, Sunny wanted the 
Sonny wanted the alien invasion thing, but uh, Angela just wanted the flavor selection, just the normal ad. Let's see. And now, a message from our sponsors. You know what? Fuck it, I'm going with Sunny here. Radio Radio drama. Avalanche ice cream with light. Wait. What is that? What is that? Stay with me here, guys. I'll try to describe what I'm seeing. I think a UFO just landed outside the record store. Okay, (laughs) there's a door. It's opening. The aliens are coming out. Two of them. They're heading into Avalanche now. Wait, what's this? They love ice cream. Aliens love the ice cream. One appears to be raving over the new cookie mobster cone, and the Hell other yeah. is raptured by a scoop of pigs in mud. The aliens are getting back on their ship. They're taking off. <laughs> Woo! That was tense. I sure am glad Avalanche Ice Cream was here to save the day. Why not stop in and show them your appreciation? Oh, phone call. You're on with Steph. What can I tell you? Yeah, hey, thanks for taking my call. So I'll cut to the chase. I have the world's worst roommate. I'm so sorry. I've been there. I feel you. And that's a bad housemate of my time too. End of my rope here. Everything he does is loud. His music, his phone calls, he even keeps the little click noises on when he texts, which is every second. And the smells. I think he thinks that the vape masks the fact that he doesn't shower or clean anything, but it's just like strawberry bo. Oof. Uh, okay. I get the picture. So why are you calling? So I've been planning to have like a house meeting, lay out all the cards, see if there's a way to make this work. And you want to know how it plays out. You are the psychic. Okay. Give me a sec. Oh boy. All right, almighty D20. Are these housemates doomed to fail? A five's pretty bad. I think they might be doomed to fail. That's a rough one. So can a house meeting really turn it around? I mean, hopefully this person's not like one of my housemates. Hopefully the fucking... Hopefully the fucking housemate isn't like one of my housemates. Um... Fucking, actually, I've had so many bad housemates, I don't even know which one to fucking talk about. I think I mentioned the one that, like, made weird soups and just kind of left them out one time, like, years and years ago. Um, Also had another set of housemates that just completely fucked over everybody in the house as far as our living situation and got us, uh, got us into a really bad spot. That's a long-ass story. Don't want to get into that right now, but... uh. Let's see. Um, I think the roommate vanishes. Seen into the blurry future. And I see that you dread a long and conflict-laden year ahead of you with your new roommate. You need not. Oh, thank God. Because after your meeting, he moves out on you. What? Ooh, 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 ooh. Yeah, I feel like there might be a fight. It's a week later, he calls a second house meeting. This one to tell you everything he thinks is wrong with you. You're too quiet, too much of a quote unquote neat freak. Ouch. But then, when he storms out and declares he's never coming back, you finally hear something you haven't heard in months. Quiet. Sounds wonderful. Well, thanks for the heads up. Good luck, bro. Whew. Hopefully you get a better roommate soon, dude, because, uh, oof. Like I said, I have had some stinkers in my time. Ooh, she's got girl in red? Let's go. Um. 
you know what? Fuck it. For the gays. Let's get some girl in red going. Just in time for another phone call. Sick. Hey, you're on the air with Steph. Hey, I heard you talking about Pride the other day, and you sort of convinced me to go next week. Hell yeah, let's go. <laughs> yeah, I'm really excited. I'm having like too much fun with a soundboard. <laughs> actually had a boyfriend. I figured if I'm Ooh. ever going to meet one, Pride would be the place. You're going to Pride to find a boyfriend? Does it work out? Hmm. Give me just a sec. Alright, be on my side here, D20. Ouch. A oh, aw, man, come oh, on. Pride looking for love. How do I help this kid manage his expectations? The die doesn't seem to think he'll succeed. Hey, you could at least make friends there. Ready to hear your future? <laughs> As I'll ever be. You arrive, a little nervous, and begin to explore the festival. It's an onslaught of music and colors and the smells of street food. What surprises you is you make friends almost as soon as you arrive. Fuck it, he a meets some gamers. Stops to admire your shirt, which they mistakenly thought was a reference to their favorite MMO. Gay and nerdy? I like it. Exactly. So, me, basically? <laughs> you all start chatting, and soon it's like you've always known them. You spend the day with them, exploring the festival and exchanging numbers. By the time you have to head home, you realize finding a boyfriend didn't cross your mind all day. Oh, well... That's all right, I guess. At least I meet some people, so thanks. That's the spirit. Thanks for calling in. Hell yeah. Oof, sorry, weird cut there. My uh, recording software froze for a second, but uh, yeah, I relate to a lot of that because um, I've never been to Pride either. I, I really want to go to Pride at some point in my life. It'd be so good, I think, but Lord knows there's not going to be one around here because uh, it's not the kind of state I live in. Hopefully I get to at some point. Let's see. Is there anything else I can do in here? It's such a mess in the storage room. Oh hey, the guitars lit up the blue, like um in the original game. Hey, there's a lesbian flag. Let's go. Gotta love it. Um I don't think there's anything else around here that I can mess with. At least not right now. So I read all the ads, I've taken a few phone calls. Yeah, I think we're good for the moment. So I may as well go see what's going on in the store. Before we do that, though... Apparently got a message from Violet. Pop quiz. Best Video Nasties album. Go. Uh, the Underground record. I feel like she'd be more into the Underground stuff. This is going to sound super pretentious, but they recorded a 7-inch back in, before they signed to uh, Coffin Lid. And I swear to God, that shit rips. Lies and bad intentions? Nah, but good pull. It's got a super dumb name. Don't shoot the messenger. The monster is kind of also named Frankenstein if you think about it. Are we sure that's not just a Fallout Boy song title? Super dumb name, but accurate. So, what do you do? Okay, I'm going to ask you a really boring question. Feel free to answer it in a not boring way. Well, okay. What do you do? Like, in the burning passion sense, or in the fuck I gotta pay my rent sense? Your call. Barista by day, video collage artist by night. Yo, let's go. Whoa, super not boring. Lol, thanks, your turn. Hmm, by day... I'm a radio DJ. Wow, that's so cool. Lol, I mean, we have a broadcast reach of about six blocks, but I enjoy it. And by night... Ooh. Ooh. Well, I assume that Steph hasn't really been a drummer since she moved to Haven Springs. You know, split up from the band and whatnot. Um... I have kind of been going down the path of... 
kind of getting her back into GMing. So I think we'll go with that. Uh, these days? No idea. Used to play a lot of Kingdoms and Caverns. Allow me to totally embarrass, embarrass myself by admitting I don't know what that is. Ha, ah, no big deal. Don't be embarrassed. It's a tabletop role-playing game. Oh, with the dice? Lol, among other things. You should teach me to play sometime. Yo, let's go. Haha, <laughs> I'll have to relearn myself first. Gosh, you are super fun to talk to. Ah, shit, I'm doing that thing I do again. Lol. Hmm, let's not, let's not poke at that. We'll say you're also fun to talk to. For what it's worth, back at ya. You're rad as hell. Steph, you are not discouraging me from doing the thing. I guess it's only fair to give you a heads up. You are not the first person I've started developing an intense crush on, like, right out of the gate. It is a thing with me. If you can't hang with that, I absolutely get it. Just let me know and I'll try to dial it back. I can hang. Bring on the crush. I think I can hang with that. Aren't super intense crushes kind of the point of this app? You sure? I don't want to scare you off. Ooh. Ooh, that's too relatable. Crush away. Party A hereby consents to be crushed upon to whatever degree intensity Party B deems appropriate. Oh, hey, were you at Denver Pride this year? So, I don't drive and also I work all the time, so I missed it. How was it? Good. Fun. Oh, but not like that fun. Death overrated. You didn't miss anything. Oh? It's okay. It's okay. I really want to know. Give it to me straight. Are you going to make the obvious joke or should I? Wow. Well, give it to me gay then. Excellent. Lol. I mean, you know, pride is pride. The parts that rule, rule. The parts that suck, suck. Tell me the parts that sucked. I could probably guess what sucked, but tell me anyway. The usual, you know, overpriced beer, the sunburn, the no weed rule, car companies suddenly pretending to care about queer folks, same stuff that sucks every year. Still, it was nice, you know? Ugh, it sounds nice. I should probably go get ready for work. It's been super cool getting to know you. Too bad you live so far away. It's like, what, two hours from here to Haven Springs? Fuck it, shoot your shot. You know what? Fuck it. If you want to grab a coffee sometime, I'd find a way to make it down. I would really like that. Sure you don't mind? Violet, we are the inheritors of a legacy of lonely gays driving hours to meet up with one another. This is my duty to those who have come before. Wow. I kind of love that. Your reverence for our noble heritage has inspired me. If you'd prefer, I don't mind driving up to Haven. Sure. It's a sleepy little town, but it kind of rules. For real? Then you should totally visit. Haven Springs rules. I think you'd like it here. Okay, then. It's a date. Aw. Oh, hello, Janice. Are we going to get that snake story? Disaster queer? You're going to have to explain that one to me. I mean, I'm queer. I'm a disaster. Ergo, I'm a disaster queer. Relatable. Lol, how are you a disaster? I winged my job interview. Okay, so, for example, I work as a radio DJ, but my resume and interview were all BS. Figured out what I was doing my first day. So, disaster queer is just a self-deprecating way to say you're like a free spirit? Or, free spirit is a self-aggrandizing way of saying you're a disaster queer. Lol. So, what's with the snake? I think that's the really pressing question here. Haha, <laughs> oh that. It was in Bali. This guy was charging for pictures of this snake, and it was a really pretty snake, so... I mean... valid? <laughs> but I do want to know about Bali. Bali? Bali? I'm sorry. <laughs> oh yeah, it's gorgeous. You've got to visit. Haha, <laughs> I don't even have my passport. Really? Oh my god, but traveling is the best! Crap, gotta run. Have a hair appointment in like 20 minutes. Mm, I don't know if we have enough going to... Yeah, I don't know if we have enough going to really, um... Like, establish that maybe we could hang out at any point. Plus, if Steph doesn't have her passport, I don't know how she's gonna make it all the way to fucking Bali. You know? So, we'll just be casual with this one. No worries. I'll see you around, then. Heart, heart. It was nice talking to you. Likewise. Right, so what do we have to do? 
Radio show tasks, obviously. Check storage room for requested, a requested record. Notes to self. Tally foosball score. Listen to your original song. Add to Ethan's drawing. Ooh, we got some Ethan drawings? Let's go. I'll catch up with you eventually, Jen. Anyway, I still need to add the tally for last night's match. Man, that game was something else. Ooh, we get to replay it? Let's go. I was hoping there'd be another chance to play some foosball in this game. You get Let's do better. it. I might have to actually try this time. Try let, me, all let me remember my controls. This is uh. my game. Damn. D a no! Oh, whatever. Haha, <laughs> nice. Nope. Uh, uh, uh. Damn. This timed it. Whatever you do, don't think about Jed in a diaper. Ugh, dude. I said not to think about it. Goo it didn't work. Glass, Let me pour you a glass of my top shelf formula. Nope. I'm not listening. Where's <laughs> Steph? Where'd you go? Damn it! I haven't developed object permanence yet. So, well, how's the fake psychic gig? Oh, damn. What happened, Gabe? I thought you were going to try this time. My hands were sweaty. Uh-huh. poor craftsman who blames his tool. My first victory on the board. Not gonna make a big deal. Don't want to jinx it. Yo, I almost wonder if I couldn't have thrown a little bit to get more of the dialogue. But, oh well. Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. Ooh, that's a bit grim. Hell yeah. If right, what's in the hold list? This Bobby Darren album, I'm sacrificing it to the big band gods. Let's see. Da, 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 da. It's all sound like interesting albums. Water vapor under the moon, especially. Have I not unpacked my drums because I still feel guilty about leaving the band? Or am I just lazy? I mean, it could be both. Sex, drugs, and original pressings. Hell yeah. If Summer were a person, she would for sure listen to reggae. And I would for sure have a crush on her. Huh. Chef Betty's senior cooking class is getting popular. Sick. Better sound quality, but still a hard-ass chair. Wish I had not the most effective cooling system, but in this heat, I'll take anything. I gotta tell you, having an AC in my room has been such a fucking blessing, dude. It's unreal. I've been getting a lot of folks saying good for you about these, but not so many takers. It does look like she has a lot of options in there. I really hope there would be more people to take those. In Haven Springs, you know? All this labeling is giving me flashbacks to the thankless world of high school stage managing. I thought cats were supposed to be low maintenance. Okay, so this is after she found Valkyrie. Alright. My cat hates me! Now what? A guide for new owners. Snack time for kitty. So you want to give your feline friend a treat to earn their trust? For first-time owners, the most common mistake is trying to feed your cat on your terms instead of theirs. Tip! Try placing your kitties food or treats in a quiet, low-traffic area where they'll feel safe eating. You know what? Relatable. <laughs> Maybe a handful of bees could lure the cat out of the walls. Oh. Oh. So, uh... This is still before Valkyrie. To put these. Could drop a few treats there. Cats love windowsills, right? Or maybe over there? a nice quiet spot. Yeah, we're gonna go in the corner. The windowsill be... The windowsill seems too high traffic. Considering all the people walking by and stuff. You know? I think we gotta listen to the original song still. Hasn't been a lot of interest in sheet music. I should just clear it out when I have time. Honestly, if this is as bad as Cautious seems to think it is, I'm dying to hear it. 
Ooh, ooh. TTRPG stuff? Oh, hello? Memory? After we started the campaign, Mikey printed this new Elamon and sent him to me. And it rules. The great and noble Elamon has been through many hardships. He's lost multiple limbs. Yeah. <laughs> come back to life who knows how many times. Twelve. But through it all, Elamon has always counted on one thing. Plot armor. Friendship. The love and care. Well, okay, same thing, really. Friend. Wait, what? I mean, that's nice, Steph, but you know Elamon fights alone. Always has, always will. Um, hello, Calamastia? Your sword. Oh, carry on. Also, Calamastia? Been working on some villains for this campaign. I may be biased, but they're fucking awesome. Villains Dragon Emperor Graven Rush. Lord of Sky and Bone, Graven Rush ruled the Scorched Wild with relentless fury, making meals of his underlings and the child sorcerer. Oh, I guess that cuts off because she. Ah, uh, yeah, she scribbled it out. You can see that. The child sorcerer. Many worlds knew the name Oberon. It is spat like a curse, or whispered in fear, or yelled in agony, but it was always the same. A name for something most terrible, most ruthless. Heroes fought and fell against Oberon, regardless of his form. At times he was a great spider, howling with a thousand maws. Other times he was a black stag with fiery horns. But in Karai, Oberon took more of a benign shape, that of a child clad in silver robes and wielding a mangled staff of pine. He began his path of domination anew, gathering his strength from behind the tussled hair and... Oh, haven't finished that one yet. Hello, can I, can I scroll down for the Fallen Knight of Lark Hill? Well, I guess not. Let's see. Durgeron! Hell yeah! Throw back to the campaign from Before the Storm. Durgeron, born, uh, born Breaker of Stone and Trampler of Root, joined the Horde of the Pale Bishop when he was old enough to heft an axe. He rose through the ranks thanks to his prowess on the battlefield and would eventually betray the Pale Bishop and assume control of his Thirstless Horde. The realm knew Durgeron for what he truly was. A monster. The warlord took no prisoners, left no field unraised, and would even butcher healers as they did their work. An unforgivable crime in the eyes of the tribunal. But what Durgeron wanted most of all was a worthy challenge. And in Elamon, he saw potential. No greater challenge than a disaster queer half elf barbarian named Calamastia, though. Just saying. Stormlord Quixby. Mad Owl, Lunatic, Fellfeather, Fool. The once renowned Chief Engineer Quixby was exiled from the Sky Council with a flurry of insults. They could not see the brilliance of his plan, the beauty of sacrifice. Quixby was the greatest engineer the Council had ever, uh, known in generations. His work was harnessed throughout the Drifting Roost to better the lives of its inhabitants. The Sunbulb, the Exo Wing, the list went on. But when he proposed powering the entire roost for seven lifetimes by collapsing a nearby planet that was barely inhabited? Lunatic, they screeched. Ooh. Ooh, that's a bit dark. It's giving me some uh, Pokemon Sword and Shield vibes. Uh, spoilers for anyone who has not played Pokemon Sword and Shield yet, like the story of it. But um, it's giving me vibes to Chairman Rose wanting to reignite the darkest day in order to permanently you know, solve uh, Galar's energy crisis, despite the fact that the, the crisis wouldn't really come for a thousand more years. So, you know, it's kind of making me think of that. Hopefully with a little better pacing on the big reveal, though, I'm just saying. Um, I mean, I love, 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 love Sword and Shield. Do think the stuff with Chairman Rose and Eternatus was, uh, was a little uh, iffy on the pacing. I'm just saying. That's, that's my big... Ooh! Forget what I was saying. Hello? There's our boy Durgeron in the bottom left. There's Quixby and the Child Sorcerer. Okay. Nice. Oh, another memory. Hello? These drawing skills have gone from rad to ridiculous since high school. So you see, Traveler, that these preposterous accusations you received are simply, well, preposterous. 
You mean the part about a dark spirit in an invisible tower? Or the part about placating it through a ritualistic human sacrifice? Both. All of it. I'm sorry you have wasted so much time and effort in coming here, traveler. No, I don't suspect I have. Your mayorship. Oh. Corrupted political figures? Intriguing. Just set it in a mega city filled with millions of people, she said. How hard could that be? They call it New Eden. The greatest, most prosperous, most peaceful city in all the realms. What's wrong with it? Absolutely Fair question. Nothing. For a New Eden, crime is but a memory. Disease is but a myth. Pain... Yeah, there's something seriously messed up with this place. This campaign has been, dare I say, epic so far. I'm so glad Mikey got us playing again. Honestly, I love... I Whoop. need to come up with the most badass baddie he's ever seen. I'm down to three options. Oh, here we choose. go. I do love that fucking, um... I do love that fucking, uh, they actually let you see the campaign you picked in the first part develop here. I actually kind of love that. Also, I'm just gonna go ahead and say that... Whoop. Alright. Which one of these baddies would be the ultimate challenger for the great and powerful Elamon? Let's see. Yeah, honestly, given the themes of the whole New Eden thing... Um, let's see. I feel like Quickspeed would be, uh, fitting pretty th uh, pretty th uh, pretty fitting thematically. Excuse me, can't talk. Yeah, let's go with Quixby. Let's see here. Um, it takes a lot of work to keep one step ahead of Elamon. User, drummer with a beanie. Hey folks, I need inspiration. My principal player is getting obscenely good at guessing where I've hit, uh, hit a mimic. Chests, pots, cabinets, weapon racks. He just always knows. So let me hear about your best mimics or traps in general. This is my one vice, okay? Master of Gelshire says, I once put a mimic in the last treasure chest of my campaign. Like, the literal last chest they found after vanquishing my big baddie. Undead alchemist trying to poison the world's mana stream, FYI. Highly recommended. Sick. Needless to say, the party was pissed, lol. But they never saw it coming. Walking Shadow Knight. Last year I made a quest giving NPC turn out to be a mimic. His head split open to a bunch of teeth and everything. Oh, fuck, that's rad. I probably broke a ton of lore rules, but it was worth it. Orcish Booty Shorts, which is a hell of a name. Mimics are lame. Use a cursed mirror and send them to the Shadow Realm. So satisfying, lol. I mean, if it's like the Yu-Gi-Oh! Shadow Realm, it's really just an excuse to censor more of the violent aspects of the game. You know? Which is really, like, most people don't know this, but the Shadow Realm is really just something made up by four kids for the sake of a Yu-Gi-Oh! dub. Because... A lot of the Yu-Gi-Oh shit was actually pretty violent. Like, you know that duel with fucking uh, Arcana, aka Pandora? You know, the dude who claimed to be the greatest Dark Magician user? And they had um, him and um, Yugi, like, ankle chain to the floor. And they had those dark energy discs that were going to send them to the Shadow Realm if their life points hit zero. Yeah, in the actual sub... Those are just straight up saw blades, and they were going to cut off their feet, so the loser bled to death. And that's just one example. Ooh, these are some pretty cool doodles. Love it. What else we got going on here? Ooh, the original song, hang on. Right, before we do that, though... I could listen to that melody I've been tinkering with. Let's go. Alright, let's hear it. I was about to say, hopefully that fucking doesn't clash with the tunes on the radio.
Not bad. Kind of sparse. But I dig it. Still, it's very fitting for this game series. Like, it definitely feels like something that could be in this game series. Like, either... I feel like it would either fit, like, here or before the Storm soundtrack, specifically. Hmm. Guess it needs a hook. But what kind? Good question. Something anthemic. Maybe, like, a really anthemic hook. Something that makes you feel like you're putting your fist in the air? Guess we'll see how that works out in the next part of this. This is really turning into something. Alright, look at the sheet music. Uh, ooh, bargain bin? Let's go. When you're competing with the entire internet, you need to get aggressive. Fair point. Fewer, yes, but so many remain. So very many. Drew this with Ethan. That kid is surprisingly fun. Hmm. No reason the story has to end here. Should I draw something else? Hmm. Yo, let's get a necromancer? These kids something worth running for. Nothing like a sweet necromancer to spice things up. Nailed it. Hell yeah, love that. Say what Let you me look at the oldies, please. Synth base was a gift to humanity. True. So I see some pretty rad tunes in the 80s. Actual Haven teenagers buying signed copies of Anor is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. Hell yeah, let's go, Ethan. We can actually read the comic? Nope, alright. is the most wholesome shit I've ever seen. I was kinda hoping there'd be an actual thing to that. Oh well. Um, what else do we gotta do? Um, radio show tasks and check storage room for requested record. Okay. So back here, I assume. Yep. Take another second to salute the flag. Sick. Oh, this is a whole other fucking area. This is a whole other fucking area. Yo, a keytar? Let's go! Sweet. Underrated instrument. TBH. Yeah, I'm gonna guess it's in the valuables cage, but uh, let's look at the other stuff oh. first. Time to earn your keep. Yo, a tambourine? Let's go. Better leave that here, or I'll be shaking it on the radio until I get fired. <laughs> wow. True, though. Ooh, maybe it's time for a little record store archaeology. That must have been some party. Sobe's music is now Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Jazz, rock and roll, rhythm and blues, folk, country western. Come to our grand reopening. July, uh, July 1st, 1968. 10 a.m. to 8 p.m. Wow. <laughs> oh, wow. Cradle snack. I think my dad had their record. Cradle snack. <laughs> Got some real snakes and barrels energy, not gonna lie. Gosh, you ran this place for a long time. You are cordially invited to attend the retirement party of Kasia Sobieski. To be, uh, to be held at Rocky Mountain Record Traders. Oh, 2004. Okay. Wow, she was in the game for a while. Respect. Oh, good. I was afraid we were going to run out of boxes. You never have too many boxes. But fuck all that shit. Let's, uh, let's look at the keytar. You've seen your fair share of bad haircuts, haven't you? Please give me a prompt to, like, fix this up and play it. I want to play a keytar. Seriously, I would be so about that. That's not even close to enough stickers. True. I've got a bunch of stickers on my laptop, and I definitely want more of them. Right, for some reason, I thought we were gonna have to like exp uh, explore this entire back room, but 
Now I guess we're trapped in this low area, so uh, I'm probably right about the record just being in the valuables cage. Oh, let me guess. There's a key to it. I have to find somewhere. That guy's request is locked in here. And instead of a combo, I have four drawings. Dear Future Dave, we had to change the lock combo so past Dave wouldn't slosh Irish cream all over the rare records. Here's a hint. Go star I ice cream. Past Ashley and Luca. St. Patrick's Day 09. Okay. Wow. Those drawings were meant to be a hint. I should look around the store. So, Ghost Star Eye and Ice Cream. I guess it's album covers. Oh, wait, decoration I box? What I gotta do today is pack up all the pride decorations. You could do that. Or, and hear me out here, just let the store be gay all the time. Just, you know, consider it. <laughs> um. I'm guessing Ghost would be referring to the dead foosball player? Well played, Gabe. Now, I will destroy you. I mean, it's the first thing I thought of, but I guess not. Um, let's see here. Oh, here we go. It took me way too long to notice this. Oof. <laughs> Figuring uh, let's out what see. should and should not go in this section is the most riveting part of my day. Let's see any clues in here? Hmm. Those shades are undeniably star shaped. Okay. Fair. Could be useful. Yeah, it's fair. Um right. What about in the 80s section? I hate that I actually find this funny. Oh, uh, this was not the 80s section. I was misled by the poster. Thanks, I vape. <laughs> wow. So that's definitely not it. Um, let's see. Da, 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 da. In the reggae, perhaps? Man, that guitar's seen some shit. Yeah, it doesn't look like that's the one. No, it wasn't anything to do with any of the other symbols. Um, maybe in the rock section? I'm still looking for something ghost, eye, and ice cream related. Those look like ghosts to me. Hell yeah, that looks like a sick album cover, by the way. Grabbing this for reference. Happy Pride, Steph. Aw, oh, thank you. Yo, thank you. I'm doing my best to keep the spirit alive. Yeah, not a massive LGBTQIA scene in Haven Springs, Colorado, huh? Tang, look at you. You got all the letters right. I do try. Charlotte's a pal. We we love Charlotte. Do wish she hadn't kind of turned against me at the town hall meeting at the end of the original game, though. But, uh, you know, that was kind of my fault for sapping away her anger. That was That was kind of my fault. In fact, that was entirely my fault. It wasn't even kinda. Where else could I look? Perhaps towards the front? Or, you know, maybe maybe in the back room here? No? Um, 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 um. Let's see, let's see, let's see. In the oldies, perhaps? There we go. Sick GTO. Damn it. <laughs> By with my little eye. That looks fucking Five, rad. Um, eyes. That looks rad. Borrowing this for a minute. Now, if that's not an ice cream cone, I've been very confused my whole life. Taking this to look at later. That's all four records. Watch your back, combo lock. So, something hidden in these. Is supposed to get me in there. Right. I spy a puzzle. Better get code cracking. Let's see. Damn it, past Dave. I wonder if the order is of any significance. Go star I ice cream. Go star I ice cream. Go star I ice cream. Um How do these records turn into a combination of numbers? 
Now, if that's not an ice, hmm. Both elves look like I spy with my little eye. So. Five, um, eyes? Uh, let's take a look at the lock. Let's pop this bad boy open. Oh god, it's just numbers, isn't it? Okay, um, ghost, star, I, ice cream? Maybe it's just the letter of the alphabet that each one begins with? But I don't think it's just based on the symbol. I think it might be actually based on the record title. So, let's see. That's the I spy with my so, ghost? Eyes. Five, um, eyes? Let's see. Um, I have no idea. Three, maybe? Oh, two. Wait, maybe it's like, there's two ghosts. So for the ghost number, it would be two, right? Could be overthinking this. But maybe it's based on the number of ghosts. Oh, you know what? Also, because Steph specifically mentioned the number of eyes on the, the on the eyes one. So I think that's it. I think I've got it. Okay, so two ghosts. Two ghosts, four stars, five eyes, three ice creams. Wait, what order was this in again? Ghost star eye ice cream. Okay, so... Like two ghosts, I spy with my two ghosts, eye. four stars, five, five eyes, three ice creams, eyes. two, four, five, three, two, four, five, three, two, four, five, three, two, four, five, three, two, four, five, three. All right, let's see. Whoops, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. One, two, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. No, a five, I said. Oops, wrong way. One, two, three ice creams. Yeah! First try! Destroy Mordor and get on with my day. Legitimately first try. Let's go. Here it is. This Grady kid has good taste. Oh yeah, it's the Haley Kyoko record. Okay, cool. Alright, let's kick up that Haley Kyoko tune. Hell yeah. Guess when I'm done procrastinating, I'll go get that box ready to hold the decorations. Aw. Actually, have the pack of the pride stuff. Aw. Is there any way I could, like, not do that? <laughs> this place looks great. Is there any way to just leave it as is? I really... Also, I love that that's the version of the pride flag she has in the door. Sick. Love it. I was really hoping there was a way to just leave it as is. All good things must come to an end. Which means every pride decoration must come down. Okay, but must it, though? Izzy bought this for my kitchen table. Our first pride together. Oof. Memories of Izzy. Cheers. Happy. Just thinking about last week when the waiter came over and we stopped holding hands just in case. Oh. Oh. So maybe there was a little bit more to that. It feels good not to worry about shit like that. Even just for one weekend. Yeah. One little oasis in the year where you don't have to feel like it's you versus the world. Ooh, maybe there's a little bit more to that connection between Izzy and Steph than just being bandmates. Ooh. Now we're getting the lore. Eventually, I'll get this hanging over my drum set again. Happy Fried, Seattle. Real quick, thank you guys so much for coming out tonight to support the LGBTQIA youth shelter. Hell yeah. Also, I just want to say, holy shit. You all have made this the best pride ever. Literally ever. We have one more. This song is called Compton Cafeteria. One, two, three, four. Oh, I actually wanted to hear that. <laughs> oh, well. 
Guess it's time to put more stuff away. People are always afraid to take the ones Chloe made. Up, uh, hello? Chloe mentioned? Hello? Check out all these booths pretending they give a shit about us for one month out of the year. Oh, I know. <laughs> Come on. It's hilarious. We care so much, we made our logo into a rainbow. We're committed to hassling everyone, straight or gay. Would you two ladies like to become proud new credit card holders? <laughs> I'm gonna go mess with her. No, don't. <laughs> Chloe, I swear to God. That absolutely sounds like a thing Chloe would do. Also, I love that there was a Chloe cameo in this. That's so fucking cool. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. I think I'll save this for last. Was there something else? Oh, this one. I love these so much. Our lettering was on point. Isn't it weird? The event we look forward to all year basically boils down to sitting around on the grass all afternoon. And spending way too much money. And meeting cool people. And recharging my entire soul. Word. All right. Signs are dry. Let's go. I love how that one says sensational in rainbow font. I'm going I'm going to go ahead and guess that uh, they were counter protesting the, you know, the hardcore evangelicals are like, oh, being gay is a sin. Bleh. Pride isn't over until the flag comes down. Was there something else? Save this for last. What else could I have been missing? Oh, maybe this one. Every time I look at this, I feel part of something. Why do we celebrate? Why is it so important? For generations, we have had to live in hiding or reject who we are in order to protect ourselves. To this day, queer people live in fear. That is why we celebrate, to show the world that we exist and that we are not ashamed. We are proud. Just having the courage to be here, to be yourself in this world, that is an act of rebellion, of resistance. I want to be her. Same. Yes, that's everything. But the flag on the front door. Still wish we could just leave the flag up at least. At least leave the flag up. Like, damn it. There's so many flags. I have no idea what any of these mean. Gender queer pride? Bi pride? Yo. And pride? Lesbian pride? Uh, bear pride? I think? I look like a normie. I should have worn something cooler. Stephanie. You look just like a 14-year-old homo at your first pride. Just like everyone else here once was. And they all think you're adorable. You don't need to try. You're exactly where you belong. What the hell am I doing here? Oof. Here comes the existential crisis. 